Get into the spiritual. And the spiritual, these ones are a little bit easier and really cool. So we have physical eyes for the spiritual. Okay? Sounds so simple. It's the most underutilized and overutilized resource that we have is our eyes. Our physical eyes. When I say physical eyes, I mean literally peepers. And what this is, is reality, is what I'm talking about. Most people live in the psychological world, which is not here. It doesn't exist here. It does exist in a different realm, different dimension, but not here. In reality, there's only ha what's, what's happening right now in this moment. Okay? So the thing is, seeing reality... through your own physical eyes. It sounds so mm. simple, the mind will look over it, overcomplicate it, and not do it. It's a very high level, spiritual process, technique, that most people don't do. And they'll think about it, the mind will comment it, oh yeah, I'm doing it right now, I'm doing it, and then they're not aware. Of actually looking, and actually seeing not like looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Like how many times have a, as a kid you said that or if you have kids say, I'm looking, I'm listening. You know they're not. They're not hearing, they're not seeing. The eyes can look, but they cannot see. Do you understand that? The eyes can look at things, but they can't see. Only the heart can see. You guys get it? These things can hear, but they can't listen. Do you guys understand? The ears can hear sounds, but it can't listen. This is the only thing that can listen. So part of the physical eyes and the spiritual is what's called being with the what is. Okay? Doing this always only results in positive always results in positive. You might feel more things, which is what I'm going to write next. You definitely feel more. And you get into deeper levels of experiencing, for sure. Because you're moving beyond the mind. Anything beyond the mind is in the spiritual world. This one is one of the easiest things to do, and it's the most challenging for the mind and the ego. Most people don't look. I mean, see, actually. They look, but they don't see. A lot of people, like, if you're actually looking, you're not commenting on things. If you're actually tasting food, you're not, well, this is too hot, this is too cold, this is spicy, well, this is good. Most people comment on when they eat and then taste, and they're not even aware of it. If you're commenting, you're not tasting. You cannot comment and taste at the same time. It's really hard to do multiple senses at the same time. To a degree, you can build it up, but if you're really experiencing, you're feeling or you're tasting, you're, if anytime you go, if the more you go into the, the, the commenting or the head, the less you go into the experience. So if you go meta, into, if you're a like food taster and you go meta about it, you're not really tasting the food anymore. You see it with chefs. If you ever see Chef Ramsay, he goes and like, what is this? What is this? He gets that up. Okay, cool. Goes in, he's looking, and then he's experiencing. Some of them smell or wine, right? They take it, they look at the legs, they, they get about it, and they, they're experiencing it. Okay, now, blah, 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 blah. But when they're in it, they're experiencing it. And if we can do that more, do that tonight, to the next meal that you eat. Taste it. Notice that the mind's commenting. If you're commenting, you're not tasting. And just really try to do that. And look through your own eyes. If you ever have issues with any of this stuff or emotions, look. Be with the what is without trying to change it. It's 
challenging, it's technical, it's worth it. It always results in the positive. The next one, second to last, is the internal eyes. Different. Physical eyes is external eyes. These are the internal eyes. Some people call it, which isn't, I'll just get ready for it, the mind's eye or the third eye. Some people use them interchangeably. I use them interchangeably. The mind really doesn't have an eye because it doesn't have ears, because it doesn't have feelers. But what sees the mind, what sees the pictures, is the mind's eye, a.k.a. the third eye, a.k.a. awareness, which sees the mind. And technically, it's called that which sees the mind. Anytime, we're going to go ahead and say that's mind. We're going to go ahead and say that. We're all going to agree that that's what that says. Um, that which sees the mind. Anytime we talk about beyond the mind, it's, there's, no, there's no labels. All labels, all judgments, all thoughts are only contained and limited by the mind, period. Period. Anything beyond the mind, there's no labels for it. There's pure experience. And that's why when a person's using their mind, stuck in the mind, in the head, they can't experience anything. So another way to say this is awareness itself. It's specifically vague. It's like very specific, but the mind can't grab a hold on to that which sees the mind, awareness itself. You have to go beyond the mind to actually even experience it when you're experiencing it, or even better yet, aware that you're experiencing it, there are no thoughts unless you're aware of the thoughts, which immediately dissolve once you see them. But if a person's holding their breath and thinking about it, you're not even listening to what I'm saying. I'm just people. I'm not saying you guys. I'm just saying if somebody were to, that's what's happening. If they're thinking about it, they're not listening. And even the mind is like, yeah, I'm listening. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm leading the person to an experience, not actually a concept. None of this is conceptual at all. Not one, one thing. So you can also call it consciousness or conscious awareness. I kind of like conscious awareness better because it's kind of like more of a strategy, conscious awareness. But consciousness can be just used like, oh, it's consciousness. Oh, I'm conscious of it. I'm aware. But I'm, I'm aware that I'm aware is way more powerful. So it's also what I said, what can see the mental pictures or the internal representations in the psychological world. Internalize is what can see the mental pictures, memories, or the internal representations that the mind makes up. It's what see or seeing energy. If you ever can see energy, it's only you can see it through this. Yes, you can kind of see things with your physical eyes, but if you close your eyes, you can still see it too. So it kind of gets tricky because your physical eyes and your internal eyes can sync up. Okay. So also seeing non physically, which is like energy or angels or people in your family or people that are important. So the internal, the physical eyes is the external. The internal eyes is either internal, but you can also see things that aren't physically there mystically by developing, by practicing this. Which this is number 17, which is one of the coolest ones. And the last one for this seminar is insights. And what it is, it's coming, it's just, 
messages information, but I'm just going to write directly from the source. of all creation, or of creation, the source of everything. And that is seen intuitively. It's being given to you. You're not looking for it, you're not creating it. If you create it in the mind, if the mind creates it, you can change the picture. You can change it to black and white, color, moving, still, make it smaller, make it bigger. If it's directly coming from source as an insight, you cannot change it at all. Try. You can't. It doesn't work. It's not coming from the mind. But it's coming into the mind's eye. So seeing intuitively from third eye Mind's eye, just right in third eye. Okay? So we use it interchangeably. Mind's eye, third eye. The difference is your own physical eyes is physical things you can only see in the third dimension. You, your physical eyes cannot see behind your physical eyes. Does anybody disagree with that? Does everybody agree with that? Your physical eyes cannot see the back of your physical eyes but you can get a mental picture of what the back of your physical eyes look like. But this isn't, these, your physical eyes cannot see mental pictures. They can't. So what does the internal eyes, the third eye, or the mind's eye? You can create a mental picture. You can all think about an apple, like a red apple right now, and cut it in half. You can probably hear the sound of what that might sound like. I don't know if you cut it with a knife, or your hand, or a samurai sword whatever you cut it with, chainsaw, it's going to make a different sound, right? It's all mental, it's not real. But when you get an insight directly from the source, you cannot change it. You can honestly turn the volume up or down. It's perfect, it's divinely guided, it's whole, it's complete. And these can only happen while you're in peripheral vision, peripheral awareness. They only really happen generally when you're relaxed and calm. They can happen in high pressured situations. But they generally happen when you're open, when you're not one out of infinity, when you're open to infinity.